Hello everyone and welcome to Blackstar Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here today with musicteacher.com. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look inside the St. James plugin at all of the different microphone types available and talking about why and how you would choose each microphone for what purpose. So for this, I'm using a really simple setup. I'm gonna be using the St. James 6L6 for this and I've got this set at a low gain crunch sound. Now, Cabrig gives you the option to have a stereo setup. What I've done for this video today is I've muted this side, so you won't be hearing a stereo image today. You'll be hearing just one cabinet through both speakers. So this cabinet here is going straight up the center, so we've got the same sound, so we can really hear what each mic type is doing. I've got a little bit of reverb on, and like I said, a low gain crunch, which sounds like this. <laughs> So it's not a ton of gain there, but again, all these principles will apply if you're doing clean guitar or high gain guitar and everything in between. So inside the St. James plugin, we have a bunch of different microphone types. We have dynamic mics, we have condenser mics, and we have ribbon mics. So there are specific uses for each microphone type and there are things that these microphones excel at and also things that each microphone type falls short with. Now there is no right or wrong answer as to how you should choose each microphone, but as a general guide, there are certain things you can really get the best out of each microphone for. So dynamic mics are really good for recording guitar cabinets, purely because they are low sensitivity, which means they can handle a lot of volume. So if you're playing through a cranked amp, a dynamic mic is not going to clip itself, it's gonna be able to handle that quite well. Dynamic mics are also great for live use, so if you're playing live and you wanna mic up a cabinet, a dynamic mic is great for that. Another cool thing with dynamic mics is a lot of them have a low end roll off. So if you're playing quite a bass heavy guitar cabinet, you can kind of control some of those lows because the dynamic mic will automatically take some of those lows out and they're great for those real focused mid range sounds. Then we have condenser microphones. Now condenser microphones are high sensitivity, so you're probably not gonna wanna use one of these if you're recording a real amp in the studio at a huge volume. But what a condenser mic is good for is it gives a much bigger, wider sound because the polar capsule of a condenser mic tends to pick up more than just what's in front of it. A dynamic mic is a little bit more directional and it's great for close miking. The condenser mic will pick up a little bit more of everything else going on around it. But also, it has a bigger frequency response. So condenser mics are great for recording lower gain guitar sounds. They're also great for clean guitar and you know acoustic guitar, things like that. They're much lower sensitivity, like I said, so you're probably not gonna want to play a cranked amp through a condenser mic, but they will definitely give you a more high definition sound compared to a dynamic mic. And then we have ribbon mics. Now ribbon mics have a much thicker and warmer sound, more vintagey, more useful for capturing a vibe. If you're playing blues or jazz, ribbon mics are fantastic for that. But if you're playing more modern styles of music, ribbon mics will definitely fall a little bit short for what you need. They tend to have not as much high in detail. They're great for capturing full bodied guitar sounds. So the three mic types will all give us very different sounds. And aside from the mic choice, we also have this little switch here to put the mic off axis when the switch is black and on axis when the switch is yellow. Now what this means is the direction that the microphone hits the speaker. So when it's on axis, the microphone is pointing directly at the speaker. And when it's off axis, it is at a slight angle to the speaker. Now the big difference is here is an on axis mic will have much more top end because it's capturing more of a direct sound. Then the off axis sound will shave off some of the highs and enhance some of the lows. Now, each microphone type in this list is gonna sound different depending on whether we have it on or off axis. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play a little bit with each mic type so you can hear how each one reacts with the sound that I've got, and I'm gonna switch them on and off axis as we go. So the first two are the dynamic mics. So this is the 57 dynamic on and off axis. <laughs> Now you can 
can hear the difference there. The on-axis has a much more direct top end and the off-axis has a much more rounded sound. The 57 is a bit of a workhorse mic. You've probably heard one of these on countless recordings. They're also great for higher gain sounds. They handle high gain sounds exceptionally well. Then we have a 421 dynamic. This has a more aggressive and tight voicing according to the description here. So again, if you're playing high gain rock sounds, this will be great. So here's this one on and off. So again, that would be great for recording high gain or more rock based tones. If you're playing more classic rock or things where you really want an open sound, a condenser mic is a great choice. So the 67 condenser is a fantastic, high quality, very expensive microphone in real life. These are used on countless recordings and are great for capturing real open guitar sounds. <laughs> You can hear that's got a much more enhanced low end, but also it captures that high end detail very, very well too. Also got the 414 condenser, which is a rich and bold condenser with an extended top and bottom end. So this should give us a real full sound. You can definitely hear the enhanced lows on that one. Now we're gonna go into the ribbon mics. So these mics are much more thicker sounding. So like I said, you're not gonna get that high end articulation that you're gonna get with a dynamic mic, which is why you're probably not gonna to wanna to use a ribbon mic if you're playing really modern guitar sounds. This is gonna be great for capturing more of a vibey, classic sound, great for blues playing as well. <laughs> So again, it's a bit more mid-focused, it gives you a bit more of that boutique-y sort of sound, great for vintage guitar tones. And then we've also got the 160 ribbon, which has punchy mids and smooth highs. With this being a ribbon mic, you're going to get the same sort of vibe. So here's this one on and off axis. <laughs> So as you can hear, each one of those mics has a very distinctive sound, and this will translate into what you're actually gonna use these for. So if you're recording guitar that is either high gain or you want a real punchy, tight, mid-range focus sound, a dynamic mic is gonna work great. It's gonna capture those mids nicely, roll off any unwanted lows, and it's really gonna give you that nice focused sound you're looking for. If you're recording lower gain or clean sounds and you want a real full bodied sound with a bit of sparkle at the top, a condenser mic is gonna work great because it's gonna give you that balance. And then if you want something real vintage sounding with loads of vibe, a ribbon mic is definitely the way to go. Now the cool thing with the St. James software is you can mix and match these on different cabinets either side. So both sides have exactly the same mics available so you could mix and match on different cabinets and really experiment with your sound 
between different mic types. You can blend two different mic types to get your perfect guitar sound, which is something a lot of big studio engineers will do. They'll take something like a 57 or a 412 on one side and mix it with a 67 on the other side and blend those two things together to get the ultimate guitar sound. So try some of those combinations out and let me know down below in the comments what mic you're using for your St. James plugin. I'd love to hear which mics you guys are using to get your tones. Don't forget to check out Blackstar Amplification on YouTube for more videos just like this. And if you're looking for a music teacher in your local area, head over to musicteacher.com and check out the Music Teacher Database. There's a huge network of teachers all around the country waiting to help you guys out. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you soon.